Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're checking out the brand new HT Venue Mark III amplifiers by Blackstar, the HT Club 50 Mark III and the HT Stage 100 Mark III to be precise. So as the Mark III in the title suggests, this is the third iteration of the Blackstar HT amplifiers and I'm really excited to present these amplifiers to you guys. These amps definitely are quite interesting, so I'm really excited to dive in. Before we dive in deep, let's check out some nice high gain rock riffs that I recorded with my ESP LTD SC20 through the HD Stage 100 Mark III. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. that sounded really good crunchy thick organic and chunky love it so that was my esp ltd sc20 the stefan carpenter model with the seymour duncan jb pickup in the bridge position going through the 100 on the od1 channel on the lead on voicing one of my favorite modes on this amplifier in fact as with the rest of the amplifiers it's a really dynamic channel great for crunch but also for high gain tones it just has a very nice response and tone overall. Really cool. By the way, for all the tones in this video, the amplifiers are being fed into my RED7 amplification Amp Central reactive load and through Ohnhammer Rockbox cabinets. And the exact cabinets will be noted during the segments. Okay, so in the studio today, I have the 50 watt version and the 100 watt version of the new HT Mark III amplifiers. And aesthetically, these amps have been giving a very nice facelift when you compare them to the previous version. We have a nice and stealthy black look with this nice black toe legs on the front here as well. The knobs and switches have all been given an upgrade. It just looks more professional and sleek overall, in my opinion. It just looks a little bit more as if you should take these amplifiers very seriously. And I like that. And here you can see the old HT Club 50 versus the new one. Quite an upgrade, right? So what do these amplifiers have to offer? Let's take a look. Now, these are tube amplifiers, of course. So when it comes to the tubes, both the amplifiers are equipped with ECC83 tubes in the preamp sections and EL34s in the power sections. Of course, the 50 watt has two EL34s and the 100 watt has four EL34s. And both the amplifiers have plenty of options. So they are both quite versatile and you can really use them in a bunch of different situations for practicing at home, for recording, for using them on stage or in your venue, obviously, and all that good stuff. Any situation you can think of, basically. Now, both the amplifiers have a clean channel and the clean channels are identical. And for the clean channel, we've got a treble, bass control and a volume control as well. And just as with the previous iteration of the HT, we have a voice switch. The voicing with the lead off is a sort of fendery clean with a lot of headroom, really bright and sparkly. And the lead on voicing gives you a more Vox-like tone. So with a bit more mid-range going on, a really nice British tone that breaks up a bit easier. 
And when you crank up the volume control on the clean channels, you can get some really nice grit and overdrive, some really fat overdrive, especially on the lead on voicing, so that British voicing. So that clean channel with all the controls is basically identical on both the amplifiers. So in terms of clean and broken up clean tones, these amplifiers already are quite versatile. And then on the HT Stage 100, we have two overdrive channels, the OD1 and the OD2 channels. And each channel offers two different voicing options, again, a lead off and a lead on voicing, as well as individual gain and volume controls for each channel. With the OD1 channel on the lead off voicing, you get a very nice sort of British crunch tone, very organic sounding and very dynamic as well. And with the lead on voicing that you also heard in the intro track, you get a more boosted and modern tone. So a bit more high gain and a bit more suited for the heavy styles, as you heard. But still quite organic and natural sounding. So yeah, I really love that voicing on this amplifier. For the OD2 channel on the lead off voicing, in comparison to the OD1 channel on that voicing, the tone is a bit more hot rotted, so a little bit more modern sounding, still quite British sounding and full and warm and rich and definitely dynamic. So again, great for crunch, but also for slightly heavier rock tones. And with the lead on voicing on OD2, you get the most extreme and aggressive tones that this amplifier has to offer. So with a very tight and fast response and very in your face sounding. So that's a very wide range of tones in this one amplifier, quite impressive. Of course, you'll get to hear all these modes in a second. The HD50 only has one overdrive channel with two voicings. So with the lead off voicing, you get a very similar tone to the OD1 channel with the lead off voicing. So a sort of classic or vintage British tone. But I did notice that this one has a little bit more gain on tap. So it makes it a little bit more versatile, which is cool. Now the lead on voicing on the overdrive channel, again, is more modern and tight and very metal sounding. But I did notice that the overall voicing and frequency response and EQ curve of this channel versus this one is quite different and you'll hear a comparison in a minute. So they definitely have their own flavors and sonic signatures going on on that mode. Now for the overdrive or OD channels, both the amplifiers feature a three band EQ with bass, mid and treble, as well as an ISF control, which is very unique for the Blackstar amplifiers. ISF stands for infinite shape feature and it can have a really drastic effect on your tone. And with that control, you can really go in and fine tune the response and overall tone of the amplifier on the overdrive channels. So that's a really cool touch. Turn it counterclockwise for a very American tone and turn it clockwise for a more British tone. Both the 50 and 100 watt have a reverb level control and on the back of both amplifiers, you can also choose between two types of reverb, a light reverb, which is basically a plate reverb and a dark reverb, which is basically a room reverb. Now, something else that the 100 watt amp has that the 50 doesn't have is a presence and a resonance control. And those controls are always greatly appreciated by me because I love how they allow you to fine tune the tone. And of course, both amplifiers also have a global master volume control. And with these switches over here, you can scale down the amplifiers. So the 50 can be scaled down to five watts and the 100 can be scaled down to 10 watts, which of course is great for bedroom playing and stuff like that. On the back, both the amps have a USB-C connection. You can use this to record direct and use this amp as your interface, sort of. So you can record processed or dry signals, which is very handy. Now in the box, these amps come with a very simple two button foot switch, but you can also upgrade to a bigger foot switch, I believe with five switches for more options. Both the amps have an FX loop with a level switch. And then we have the reverb voicing as mentioned. And then we also have the direct cab rig output as well with three settings, a line or phones output and a balanced XLR out. So you can connect these amplifiers to your computer and use cab rig for great direct sounds with cabinet simulation. And this allows you to choose a wide range of cabinets, choose different microphones, mic positions, various EQ options. So that's really cool for direct recording as well. The 100 has five speaker outs. So four, eight and 16 ohm outputs and the 50 has three outs eight and 16 ohm outputs. Okay, so I guess that's all the features, most of them anyway. So yeah, that's quite a lot to take in, but yeah, it does make these amplifiers quite versatile. And a lot of that stuff is just really useful, especially all the stuff on the front. I mean, all the controls to tweak your tone, I love that stuff. 
Okay, now let's explore some more tones and let's do some beautiful clean tones. And for that purpose, I use my ESP LTD EC1000T, the charcoal burst one, with the Fishman Fluence Classic open core pickups on the neck pickup on the default voicing, which is the chimey airy voicing, I believe. I'm gonna start with the lead off voicing, and then in the middle, I'll switch to the lead on voicing, then back to voice one, and then back to voice two again, so you can hear both flavors that the amp has to offer for the clean tones. And I'm gonna let you guys hear both the amplifiers so you can compare them a little bit. And the reverb will be on as well on the light setting. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Right, those were some very nice clean tones indeed and I think that both the amplifiers sounded great here and with these voicings definitely very very similar and with the lead on voicing so that sort of voxy tone I really liked that sort of a uh, little bit of crunch that was added in as well so that's really cool so as I said you can add quite a bit of overdrive on that channel by raising the volume of course you're gonna need to back off the master volume because the amplifier will get louder but that's really cool as well now what I'm going to do is loop some clean riffs that I recorded with my Les Paul Standard, my Gibson Les Paul Standard 60 to be precise, with the Duncan 59 in the neck position. Then I'm just going to tweak some controls and tweak the reverb as well, so you guys can hear sort of how the clean channel reacts and all that stuff. So check it out. Great, now let's move on to some overdriven tones and let's start with some more classic rock tones. And again, I'd like to show you guys how both the amplifiers sound here. 
For the 100, I'm gonna use the OD1 channel on the LED off voicing. And for the 50, I'm also gonna use the overdrive channel with the LED off voicing because they do sound quite similar. As I mentioned, the 50 has a little bit more gain on tap on that channel, so I'm gonna lower the gain a little bit for this amplifier. I'm gonna set the reverb to dark, which is the room reverb, but I'm gonna set it very low, so it's gonna be barely audible, just adding some very subtle room. And the guitar that I'm gonna use here is my ESP LTD EC1000T CTM in Violet Shadow. Again, with the Fishman Fluence classic open core pickups, but this time on the bridge pickup, on the second voicing, which is the sort of PAF, the vintage PAF voicing. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out right now. Really nice indeed. I really love that tone a lot. Sounds beautiful to me. Okay, now we're gonna move on and add some gain slowly. Um, the OD1 channel on the 100 with the LED on voicing. We already tried that in the intro track, but I'll get back to that in a minute. But now let's try some rock tones on the OD2 channel with the LED off voicing for slightly more gain than the other channel that we just heard. Just for a slightly more hot rotted British tone basically. This time I'm going to use my ESP LTD EC1000T CTM in vintage gold satin on the bridge pickup, which is the same Fishman Fluence classic pickup, and on that vintage PAF voicing, just as with the last clip. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Very cool. So I really like those lead off voicings for both the amplifiers. They just sound really good and organic and classic, but at the same time, they have more gain on tap than for example, a JCM 800. So they have a bigger range. So that's why I like to call them hot rotted British channels. 
but they still are very capable of doing those classic tones and they are also quite dynamic so they do respond well to rolling off your volume but yeah very juicy tones and very crunchy and organic now we're going to get into heavy metal territory with the od2 channel on the lead on voicing for that crunchy tight and aggressive tone i'm also going to let you guys hear the overdrive channel on the lead on voicing on the 50 just so you guys can hear how they compare and as i said they do have their own voice going on and for this tone i'm going to use my esp ltd phoenix black metal with the fishman fluence modern pickup on the passive voicing let's go ahead and check it out really cool now in comparison i do prefer the 100 here because it does sound a bit more open and a bit more bright which is nice and of course the additional presence and resonance controls help with that because they can really allow you to fine tune the bottom end and the top end okay finally i want to try something different something very heavy on a low tuned guitar a seven string baritone to be precise my esp ltd sct 607b which is a guitar that is tuned to drop a flat. And I want to try boosting that with a boost pedal just to see how this amplifier reacts. So the 100 watt amplifier. And we're going to use OD1 with the lead on voicing and then boost it with the Lichtlärm Audio, the King and Yellow boost pedal, which is sort of a hot rotted or modded tube screamer type pedal. Yeah, it's a brutal guitar with an EMG 817, so an active pickup in the bridge position. Let's go ahead and take a listen right now. Wonderful, really nice. Now I want to give you guys an idea of how all the controls react on the overdrive channels. 
And I'm also gonna mess around with the ISF control so you guys can hear how that alters the tone. So I'm gonna loop some riffs again using my Les Paul Standard 60s with the JB and then tweak all the controls a little bit so you guys can take a closer listen. Check it out. So those were the Blackstar HT Venue Mark III amplifiers. I really enjoyed these tones and I think that these amplifiers are excellent. They certainly are quite versatile. You can get various shades of clean tones, great clean tones, broken up clean tones, classic crunch tones, more modern crunch tones, various shades of rock, and tight and aggressive metal as well, and everything in between, as well as some nice reverb, and a bunch of direct recording options and stuff like that as well. So these amplifiers offer a lot. You can use them for recording, you can use them for practice, for rehearsals, on stage, anything you want basically. So yeah, I do like these amplifiers a lot. Thanks to the folks at Blackstar for sending these amps over to me and also thanks to the guys at Face. And of course, for more information about these amplifiers, visit blackstaramps.com. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe and a comment down below to let me know your thoughts on these amplifiers. You can also follow Sonic Dry Studio on Facebook and Instagram, by the way. Thank you guys so much and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.